right, everybody, what is going on? We got the new season of Battlefield over here on Global Dokkan. Let's hop in. I've already done my setups. You guys know the drill. This first fight against Jacko, we're using the Ginyu Force. How is it going, everybody? I just ate, like, four fajitas. We're doing great. We're having cord issues. Uh, let me fix... Let me... Hang on. There we go. Hang on. Hang on. It's momentary. Stand by. And we're back. Boom. Okay, let's calm down a little bit. Let's hop into Battlefield here. Um, again, this first fight, and really this entire first stage, I always recommend that players, if they can... Use the Ginyu Force, use um, the Team Bardock squad, use both, uh, use your weaker teams, whatever you need to do to uh, get this first phase done. This Jacko is a huge pushover, so there is no need to burn a entire, like, mono setup here when you can use a weaker setup like the Ginyu Force. And the, I mean, not that the Ginyu Force team is bad, right? But now, by doing this, I can save a physical setup for later in the fight um, against Vegeta. <laughs> Excuse me, if you guys don't know, uh, whatever typing the first fight is in Battlefield is what the final typing will be as well. So here we go. Um, we are going to be attacking right here. Uh, I just noticed that we have a black bar at the top of the screen right here. I feel like I could adjust the aspect ratio a little bit here. I don't know when that got messed up, but uh, maybe after this I, I will take a look. Maybe that's always been there and I've just never noticed, but uh, I feel like there's... A giant black bar up there for the first time. Did they mess with the aspect ratio of the game or something like that? Huh. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just crazy. Maybe that's just always been there and I just haven't noticed. You guys let me know if that's uh, been in all of my videos and I just uh, haven't haven't noticed that giant black bar up there before. Alright, well anyway. Jacko is taken out. Um, again, use the Ginyu Force there. And if you have them, I always forget to put the Team Bardock squad in my setups. So I don't have them here. But if you have the Team Bardock squad... Use them for this. It'll be really easy. Or switch them. Whichever one you think is stronger, use that one first. And uh, you don't need any of the summonable units for either of those teams. But if you have them, I mean, they fill in well, right? It's just going to be a more powerful setup. Um, be sure you always read the enemy traits here. See what they are immune to. And then bring characters that do the opposite. Um, we are going to be using Extreme AGL right here. Extreme AGL is pretty decent right now. We do have Rildo and Zamasu. Actually, I like to run Metal Cooler um, for my sub lead because I still like to bring these freezes right here. And so that gives a bigger buff to the rest of the team. Uh, we could bring just like Super Boo, AGL, Zamasu, and just like Turles or something right here. I guess we can just save kind of those GT bosses for later. I doubt we need them, but... Uh, we, we can just kind of save them, I guess. I don't know. It, do, it doesn't really matter. Um, this fight is so easy that we're just gonna... Like, honestly, I can probably just put Frieza right here in slot 1. And there's probably not much uh, Zarbon and Dodoria can do. So, um, we'll go ahead. We'll get our dub right here. And we'll move on to the next fight. Oh, they are gonna super us. Okay. Well, maybe they can do something right here. 91 damage and they debuffed us. You know, that's pretty crazy. Frieza's only at a 5 million attack stat right here. Um, if you guys don't know, I use pretty much the same setups in all of my Battlefield videos. So if this is your first video you're watching and you don't feel like I'm giving an in-depth explanation enough to my team building, uh, go check out some of my other videos. I tend to get more in-depth than those. So um, anyway, there's Zarbon and Dodoria taken out. Battlefield just gets so repetitive, especially with it being the same enemies month in and month out. Uh, I think people just like to hop in. They generally just skip to the end. They see what team I use against Vegeta or maybe Cell. I know Cell tends to give people a little bit of trouble. It's given me issues in the past, too, as well. Um, he, he just, like, can randomly hit really hard, but... Um, anyway, let's go ahead. We got extreme tech coming up right here for TN. Um, I usually use my extreme typings first because they are generally worse. I went ahead and threw this Majin Buu on the team right here. He's going to be getting his EZA, I believe, tonight um, as of when I'm recording this. So that'll be coming out soon. This guy's EZA looks really, really, really good. Um, I didn't do calcs on it because, I mean, he's pretty basic. I don't think people are really going to need me to do calcs on him. Uh, I, I think it was pretty apparent as soon as everyone saw, like, 70% damage reduction that everyone was like, oh, okay. Like, he, he's, he's pretty good right here. So, um, we can just go ahead and bring him. I mean, it's not going to hurt us. It's not going to, like, cause any issues. So let's go ahead. We'll bring him here. Um, again, I'm not putting too much thought into these, like, villain teams right here. Just because the first two levels of Battlefield typically shouldn't be giving you issues. If they are, it's going to be pretty rare for you to make it, like, deeper into the event. That's not like a, oh, you're bad at the game. That's just a... 
you know, probably if you're struggling with these beginning phases, you just, like, don't have the units you need to compete in this event yet. Battlefield is one of the few modes in the game that you really can't build up a squad for in a single celebration. Um, you know, it does take, what, 70 characters, basically, to complete if you're using a full setup in each of the fights. So... Uh, yeah, I mean, you, like, minimum of 70 good characters to bring into these fights is gonna be tough, right? So, Battlefield is just one of those modes that you gotta work at over time. You gotta build up your rosters, you gotta make sure you're farming your free-to-play units, you gotta make sure you're getting, you know, your link levels done, all that types of, all that type of stuff, because this is, what I like to call Battlefield is that it's a really... It's a test of how deep your box is, you know, like, uh, if, if you think about it, right, like, Supreme Battle Spectacle, Red Zone, um, Extreme Super Battle, well, Extreme Super Battle Road, not as much, because there's so many stages, um, but really just, like, Red Zone, Extreme Super Battle, or, I'm sorry, Red Zone, the movie memorial, the Supreme Battle Spectacle, and, like, the Legendary Goku events and stuff like that. Uh, can all be completed, right, like, if you summoned on one banner in a single celebration, Whereas Battlefield here is like one of the few modes in the game where really like it discourages re-rolling. Um, if your account is brand new, it's going to be tough. I mean, you can't even unlock the mode until like what? You're level 100? I mean, that's not super hard, but you know, there are requirements to actually unlocking this mode. This, this is just one of those modes that over time is... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm going for here? Like, like you guys kind of get it, right? It, it's not something that you can just wake up one day and be good at Battlefield. It's like Battlefield really does require you to put time into link leveling, awakening, Dokkan awakening, uh, putting orbs into, raising the super attack levels of, like, several different units uh, because it's going to change, you know, every month. It's like, okay, well, one month your, you know, int setup may be good for baby and you can easily get past level two, but maybe you just haven't put any effort into any of your, like, extreme physical characters, and now baby's int type, right? And so now you just can't get past him because you've just never bothered to, like, do your int characters, or maybe you don't have enough or whatever, right? So that that's where it can just get a little bit interesting here. So I like to run Time Travelers, and then I just like to bring this Vegeta because he is a support now. Um, I'm trying to get value out of these 50% support units, you know? It's like I, uh, you know, it, it took a lot of stones to get them rainbowed, so... Um, I, I do want to make use out of them where, wherever I can. Um, Fat Boo, we went ahead and brought him. He is at 79%. I haven't used him in a video yet on the channel. I'm going to try to get one recorded right after this where I take him uh, somewhere. I guess we can just throw him into slot one right here. Does he get any extra links with anybody? No, that's, I mean, that's the problem with Fat Boos, right? Is that they just have like a hyper-specific Boo link set, uh, which is kind of lame, but it, it is what it is. We can grab those orbs right there for Goku Black. No, the cord! Come back, please. Come come back. There we go. Uh, I've been having a lot of cord issues the past couple of days. I may need to, like, reset my phone or something like that. Um, we'll let Fat Boo get this attack in right here. Notice that the audio isn't synced up at the moment. It's close, but it's just not quite there. Uh, I'm going to have to mute the game real quick. Do that. And then now it should be synced. Okay. I don't know why the Elgato does that. Um, if anybody has any recommendations for other, like, recording products, please let me know. Um, because, like, I, I cannot say that I am too happy with uh, how this Elgato has been performing for me for the past couple of years. I mean, it, overall, it's gotten the job done, but it has been a huge headache most of the time. So, I don't know if it's the cord I'm using, which I, I really don't think it is, because I've used this cord with, like... Um, like a Switch and a PlayStation, and I've never had issues. Uh, I just think, well, maybe it is my phone then. I don't know. Well, whatever. <laughs> um, we took out Baby. That was pretty not bad. I mean, that LR Rosé is just going to be able to take this guy out. I feel like overall, you know, people are going to look at my setups and think that it's like a super whale setup. But really, a lot of these characters that I've been using have been just on my roster. <laughs> I am cycling in some of the new characters here just because, I mean, they're new and I figure people want to see them in these events, but, um, like, a lot of my Battlefield roster has been on my team, like, since they released. I mean, if you look at this, this LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta has been on my Battlefield roster, like, since he came out. Uh, so, uh, that's just never changed. Same thing with Cabo right here. Um, I do have, like, a bunch of new units actually in here, but... Um, I, I, I've actually changed my Super STR roster up a lot here recently, uh, just because, I mean, I can. Oh, and I guess we want to bring STR Vegito. Dude, Super STR is kind of crazy, right? 
Uh, we don't have to bring Kefla. I could bring, like, Bulma instead, who would probably be better overall for us. So let's do that. Um, just with her orb changing. If you guys don't know, I really like to prioritize support and, like, key and just making sure that everybody can super attack on each rotation. That is very important to me in Battlefield. So I tend to prioritize that over anything. Just because I think if it's easier for your units to gel, you can have better cohesion. And the easier it's going to be for you to get through these events. You know, you don't want to be in a situation where you have like a rotation of units who can't super attack. A rotation of units who just don't link well together. Uh, sometimes it's important to prioritize like cohesion and team synergy um more than just like bringing your most powerful units because sometimes you can bring your most powerful units they end up not working well together i don't know you get a couple bad rotations things don't break your way and then you're having to restart battlefield and it's usually not a huge deal but battlefield is one of those modes where it's like oh man if you lose in round three you know that's not just like a oh you hop back in and go fight the boss right it's now you have to restart and go fight every boss all over again up to that point just to even have a chance to do it and sometimes that can be a 10 15 20 minute endeavor in order to get back just to get back to that point and so if you die multiple times right that's you getting sent back to the beginning people get frustrated they don't want to play the mode they turn the game off they never complete battlefield you know i know how it is um i do have like you know my jp account that's mostly free to play i struggle with battlefield quite often in there and i have like setups that can get it done but i, I mean everybody's experienced the classic battlefield all right as long as i don't get these three rotations or like these three characters on rotation all the other four characters in my setup should be able to take care of this guy super easily and then you load in it's the three characters you don't want he's loading all their attacks in slot one they get super attacked you die instantly and it's just like it's discouraging it's sad you get angry and you turn it off right like I, I i've trust me i have been there i've been playing battlefield since it released um again it is one of my favorite modes and uh i don't know like you, you just gotta learn how to like live with the punches right um and again, I, that's another reason why Battlefield at this point is just so easy for me. And a lot of veteran players have the same thing where it's just like, you know, our, our accounts are built up. Um, Battlefield, I feel like Battlefield is typically about two, about two years behind like whatever the current meta is. Like I would say like this Battlefield is pretty much on par with maybe like the Legendary Vegeta event, the God event, like things like that, right? Um, that, that's about where I'd say, like, this thing is on par with. I, I definitely would not say that this battlefield is, like, red zone level. Um, whereas it kind of seems like the one that JP just got is maybe closer to the 7th anniversary. But, I don't know, I haven't actually gotten a chance to get my hands on it yet. But, typically, I feel like that's about where the, um, difficulty curve for battlefield lands. Um, but it's not just one fight, right? It's, what, 10? It's 10 fights that you have to have enough characters to go into, so... Um, it can be a little bit tricky um, for some people. All right, let's grab those guys, and we'll just grab Trunks here to round out the Earthbred Fighters setup. I I've been trying out this setup here recently. This is something new that I've been doing. I've never really used 23rd World Tournament Goku much in Battlefield, um, and I decided I wanted to give him a couple runs here. <clears throat> so that that's what we're doing right now. It's just kind of taking him in here. We're going to see how he does. Um, we're going to run this Earthbred Fighter setup. Part of it, too, is I want to use TN. I want to see how TN does in here. Um, and I just haven't, like, had many opportunities to use TN. And, again, I do want to get value out of these 50% support type units. Uh, this is going to do a little bit of damage to us. 230. That's not great. Uh, let's resync the audio there. Okay. Um, again, I don't know why the cord is also being very, very touchy here, uh, here, like, in the past two days since I got back from vacation. But... Um, it's okay, we'll get through it, uh, it'll all be well. 23rd World Tournament Goku, in theory, should be a really good, um, uh, battlefield unit. I just struggle to find a good setup to run him on, so that's kind of why I'm using his own team here, and then I'm using TN. Um, in reality, I probably wouldn't run, like, TN, Trunks... Or 23rd World Tournament Goku in most setups. Uh, if you guys go watch some of my older Battlefield videos, you will know that I usually like to use a Power Beyond Super Saiyan setup. Uh, slash Movie Hero setup is, is generally what I like to use. Um, but th this will get the job done. We'll be fine. We do have Demon King Piccolo sealed now because of God Goku. So we have nothing to really worry about here. That's the only debuff that you can apply to this guy, by the way. Is the um, is the seal? You'll notice at the top right there that he's immune to everything else, um, which which is fine. I mean, it, it generally if you can get a seal off on these bosses, 
Like, they, they can't do anything. And if you're able to bring multiple characters that can seal, then, uh, you know, somehow if you can get one on each rotation, then you've pretty much... I don't want to say you've guaranteed one, because some of these bosses can still do a little bit of damage on their normals, but, you know, if you can keep a boss from supering you, you can usually whittle them down before they can whittle you down with normals, typically, um, is how that's going to work. So, if you guys don't know, you can actually sort in your box by characters with certain effects. So if you're ever curious if, like, a character does something, there is a, um, like, skill sort, I think is what it's called, and you can sort by certain skills. Like, you can go, like, um, who has a super attack effects stun, right? You can go, who has a passive seal or something like that, and you can sort the characters in your box to see who has those abilities. So be sure to use that at your advantage in order to find characters that are going to be good for specific fights. That's also why doing a little bit of homework before you hop into these fights is good, seeing what these characters are immune to, seeing what they can be, uh, debuff by seeing which characters you have that are good against these guys you know a lot of battlefield just is knowing your units knowing your bosses which is just really the core concept of dokkan at the end of the day is knowing what your units do what they do well and then what the boss um can have done against them right um, if you're hopping into blind, if you're hopping blind into fights, just trying to copy other people's setups or, and not doing much research of your own, that can work and it can be successful for you, but where you're really going to start to learn and grow and get better at this game is understanding those things for yourself and not just copying other people's setups. It's good to look at other people's setups to get like inspiration and get ideas for what you want to do. But overall, at some point you do want to start building these setups on your own, um, figuring things out for yourself and, uh, getting better on your own, um, for instance here i like to run a bond parent and child setup with them as my leader and then you can see that i do bring again this int gohan this guy is crazy for battlefield if i wasn't going to bring him though uh i would just bring these guys right here as my secondary leader they're really old at this point now they haven't been on a banner in a while but um they would be my secondary choice and then of course you could run god goku as your leader if you have him just remember that he will not fall onto their leader skill uh or, i'm sorry they will not fall under his leader skill because they are not on pure or hybrid Saiyans because they are a pure and hybrid Saiyan. So they get neither category, which is a really dumb thing Dokkan is doing. Um, I would also maybe consider putting this guy on my team. I would probably switch him on over maybe these guys. I don't know. We'll see. Whenever uh, in Evolution Blue Vegeta EZA is here in a couple months on Global, I'm going to have to make a tough decision as to who I start leaving off on this setup here. Uh, because, I mean, he's going to be a Battlefield staple forever with his 50% damage reduction, guard, guaranteed crits, all that good stuff. He's going to be on Battlefield uh, on my roster probably permanently as soon as he EZAs. It's going to take a lot for them to power creep that guy out um, after he EZAs. So we'll see. Um, I don't think we'll one-turn Piccolo here, but there is a good shot that we do a lot of damage to him. Uh, we could take a little bit of damage right here, but I doubt that it would be anything, like, mind-boggling. 200k, uh, I mean, that sounds like a lot, but we are running a 720k HP team. Um, I I've said this before as well. If you're ever curious about if your Battlefield team setup is good or not... Uh, a quick way to tell is just how much HP you have. Now, that's not going to be just like a, oh, I have really low HP, so this is a bad team, or oh, I have really high HP, so this is a good team. But I would say that that is a, just like a quick, um, is this team good or bad? And you just look at the HP, and that's just kind of like a good indicator, right? Because if you're able to build a team with like, 500k plus HP, 600k plus, or in this case, 700k plus HP, like, obviously, you've got a pretty pretty solid team build. Uh, whereas, if you're building a team and it only has, like, 250k, 300k, something like that, that's probably going to be a weaker team, and it's not going to be as strong, so... Things to consider whenever you're, um, you know, building teams for Battlefield. I could have put LR Super Saiyan 4 in slot 1, but I do want to kind of just get some footage of this kid Gohan. Uh, you know, I, I don't get to, he... I don't get to use him too often, so, you know, just getting some footage of him on the channel is always nice. Uh, you know, we can watch him get beat up. Oh, nope, JK, there's the full dodge build coming in. Very nice. Um, we'll get his super attack in right here. We're going to get the uh, unit super attack with Goku because we do have a Goku on rotations. So that's pretty good. We get the uh, Z Fighters AoE right there. Nice. We're going to get a couple of additionals. Remember that this Gohan does get additional super attacks. That's like his uh, gimmick right here. And then Goku, let's see what he does, this AoE Goku. This guy, you know, he was definitely underpowered on release, but I have actually gotten some use out of him in uh, 
Battlefield here. I think he does, like, his defense is good enough in Battlefield, and he just does solid enough damage that I always find a place to bring him on the team. He also has really good HP, which, um, you know, just helps your survivability of the team quite a bit. He's not, like, a crazy unit. He's not necessary by any means, but, um, you know, again, he's another unit that I worked hard to acquire, and uh, I would just like to show off more, so... Um, I guess we can let Future Gohan take it home. He's the only character in the video that hasn't gotten a super attack off. Um, or at least in this run. So we can just let him bring it home right here. Then we can, we'll can we have showcased our entire super int setup right here by doing this. That's uh, it's pretty interesting. All seven characters got a super attack. That's funny. Alright, nice. Are we moving on? Uh, do we have one more fight? Do we fight Cell? I can't remember. We either have one more or we're moving on to uh, Vegeta right here. Let's see. Yeah, we still have to fight Cell. Uh, Cell's going to be pretty easy this week because he is STR. Um, we can bring these guys there who I like to run as my leader. Then we can bring Goku right here as my sub lead. Um, I bring him as my sub lead because he does lead Goku family. And most of the characters that I'm going to be bringing right here are Goku family characters. So that just makes my job a lot easier. Um, again, 636k HP means we're doing something right right here. Um, I could have even left like the blue Goku and Vegeta off the team right here, but they're usually a pretty decent like unit for battlefield So I like to bring them still uh, What do we want to do right here? Let's put this Goku in slot one and we'll just give him all of these orbs um, That'll give him remember that cell right here can be attack debuffed and he can be sealed So uh, if this Goku gets a super attack off right, it's really gonna hurt this guy the uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku, we do not have a Majin Buu Saga. No, we do have a Majin Buu Saga ally on the team. So we do have his intro buff up right here, um, which gives him the, what is it, 90% damage reduction. Um, so we've got that. If you guys don't know that um, Super Easy A Dragon Fist Goku, the uh, AGL Super Saiyan 3 one, you guys know who it is. Um, he actually is on Majin Buu Saga. There's a few characters from the early days of Dokkan that are on both movie heroes and like a saga and uh, that Goku is one of them so that actually does make this a lot easier for Battlefield um, because it means that this guy gets his intro up alright so we got the stun we got the seal we got the attack debuff absolutely masterclass showing here by the uh, two Gokus then of course Pan is going to give everybody her true turn attack buff for this turn um, I have a feeling that Super Saiyan 3 Goku is just going to bring us home right here remember that uh, Cell can't really do anything to us because he is stunned that's another thing with Battlefield right it's like if you get one lucky stun uh, it, it's really easy to combo that into a victory so here we go we got Goku shooting at his 14 million attack stat um, it is a guaranteed crit remember on his first rotation uh, he has a really high chance to do this additional that he's doing and then we could actually do one more but it doesn't matter because we just KO'd Cell right there. Pretty easy. Um, not bad. So if you remember, Jacko was int type, so that means that Vegeta right here is going to be int, which means we're going to be using our physical setups against him. Um, for my physical setups, I like to use a pure Saiyans, uh, kind of like pure and hybrid Saiyans team run by God Goku and Vegeta right here. That's typically what I like to do for my setup. I like to bring these guys, and then we just kind of like stack on some powerful LRs. I like to bring Kid Goku for the orb changing, then we just bring like Trunks, and you can see 663, 341 is our HP. Uh, but first, I actually am going to throw out the extreme physical setup. We're going to try using these guys um, one time in here. So here recently, for, uh, since this guy dropped, and I've been trying to, you know, get some value out of him as well, um, he leads super bosses in Corroded Body and Mind, and then this Goku Black, who's actually going to be coming up on a um, Super Easy A pretty soon. This is another character who has been on my Battlefield roster pretty much since he came out. Uh, because he does give three key support, and then he does create rainbow orbs if there's a Goku family enemy. And so I've just always found him really helpful for Battlefield uh, for those two reasons. You know, he can really help bring the team together. And typically, Battlefield isn't enough to ever kill this guy unless he maybe eats a super attack from, like, this Vegeta. But... You know, now it's like we're going to be coming up on a super easy a sooner rather than later. Uh, this guy is going to be one of those characters that survived the power creep and always had like a place to be used here on Battlefield, which I think is really cool. Um, we can go ahead and bring like this guy and then I guess we'll just bring Broly, Chi, Lion, Limo. They have an easy aid yet on Global. Um, again, they're another unit that easy aids during the ninth anniversary, assuming they don't give them to us early like they did STR Super Vegito. I guess I should put Super or I should put Buhan back on this team. 
even though he doesn't fit on this current setup. I should probably rework my setup so that he does work on here. All right, look at these rotations, by the way. Uh, we got the seven orbs that we need, so that's the 100% guaranteed dodge from Broly. Uh, we can leave Rosé right here in slot three, or we could put Janimba there. Um, remember that Janimba does have a, what is it, 50% chance to nullify Key Blast super attacks. And so if this Vegeta were to super attack him, it would uh, he would have the 50% chance to nullify it. And then I also did give him uh, pretty much a full dodge build, so um, he could dodge as well. I think is what I did. No, I only gave him 9 dodge. Okay, I gave him a pretty balanced build. Okay. Well, anyway... Uh, let's go ahead, we will grab these orbs right there, and we'll just give, uh, like, this SCR orb to uh, Super Saiyan 3 Rosé at the end right there. Uh, we're looking pretty good. Again, Vegeta decided to put all of his attacks here in slot 1, and we got really lucky loading into 10 physical orbs, so we do have the 100% chance to dodge from Broly, Chi, Lai, and Limo. They cannot be touched. The only attack that we could potentially even take on this rotation currently is the one at the end aimed at Super Saiyan 3 Rosé, so... I do like that. Um, I can't, like, I can't lie. This is an extremely lucky turn. Uh, people are going to see this and be like, you know, where's my good luck? And uh, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you other than this is some insano luck right here. Like, first of all, just getting seven orbs with these guys is usually a huge pain. And then for Vegeta to load all of his attacks here into that first slot like that so that he, they can just easily dodge it. It is just like a huge RNGW for me. So I, I can't lie to you guys. That is not going to be a very common occurrence. What just happened right there. Uh, replicating that is not going to be easy. But, you know, again, we do have my entire super physical setup still. So if we do die in here, um, I do still have that setup as well. This will do damage to us, but I'm not super concerned about it. And again, if we do die, if Vegeta is able to kill us, it, it's not actually going to be a big deal because we do have... Um, we do have the super physical setup that we can bring in here and, and help this, uh, you know, like wrap up basically. So I, again, I'm not worried. I'm not concerned. Uh, Rosé, remember, also has a 70. It's either 70 or 50% chance to nullify Key Blast super attacks. So if Vegeta were to um, launch the final flash at him, he could potentially just cut it in half. That is a nice ability that they gave him right here. So we'll, we'll definitely take that. I haven't been super impressed with Rosé. I, I honestly, I'll tell you, I think he's probably already out of the top 10 TURs. Or if he's not, like he, he's hanging on by a thread, man. I, I, I don't know what to tell you. He's like maybe the 10th best TUR right now. There's no way I have him over like... Um, Frieza, God, uh, Frieza, God Goku, um, you know, obviously, like, the really top echelon of characters. Oh, we're probably dead right here. Unless Goku Black dodges it, we're dead. This is one of the rare instances where, uh, you know, we, we do die because of my, uh, my hubris here of bringing, uh, Goku Black. But that's okay, we can just bring the super physical setup in here. You know, they got, like, a nice solid 30% of, it, or, like, 40% HP off right here. So let's bring our super physical setup. This should have no problem finishing the job right here. Uh, this will be extremely easy for us. So let's go ahead and hop in. Um, what was I saying? I forgot what I was saying. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Whatever I was saying, just fill in the blanks. You guys can probably figure out what I was going to say. So um, let's throw these guys in slot one. We'll float off Vegeta because he's not very good. Uh, or we could do this, actually. Um, let's grab... Let's grab all of those with Kid Goku. That'll get his support up for the rotation. Nice. We can grab these for Vegeta. And then we'll go, we'll go ahead and float off uh, Gogeta right here. Because whenever he comes back, he'll be able to fuse. Uh, just remember, by the way... That that LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Vegeta... Is going to EZA in approximately, like... Eight months? Nine months? Like, right at the end of uh, January or February next year, those LR Super Saiyan 4s are going to be getting their EZA uh, as part of the 10th anniversary. So that is uh, just something to keep in mind right here that, you know, we, we are now much, much closer to their EZA than you would realize. And they, you know, they're still, like, solid units. I mean, they're not, like, you know, super crazy, like, red zone killers. But, uh, you know, they're, they're like, still very useful in many different aspects of the game. So, uh, that's, uh, you know, we love to see that is, is what we love. So, 
them and the gods. I'm hoping. I'm hoping that we're going to get a really crazy celebration. It's going to be really awesome. Let me know if you guys are excited for that. By the way, Extreme Physical, I definitely could have gotten it done with like a slightly different setup. There was no reason for me to bring the setup that I did. Um, I, I definitely could have like buffed it, right? Like I could have brought in a stronger physical setup. But, you know, I, I, I was just fooling around. I wanted to see how far they could get. And, uh, I mean, if we hadn't eaten the super attack on Goku Black, we would have been fine. But, uh, because we ate the super attack specifically on him, it's what, uh, gave us all the trouble right there. So, well, I mean, we'll be fine. We'll recover. It's not going to end up being a big deal, but just kind of unfortunate. I mean, they were rocking and rolling. It's just, uh, I mean, that's the nature of this Vegeta, right? Is that if you eat the final flash on the wrong character, then you're, you're pretty much done. So, hopefully Goku dodges this. Yep. We got his three orbs, so he does have his dodge chance. Remember that getting his guard isn't super important in uh, fights where he has type advantage. Like, it's definitely going to help him a little bit, but really you just want to make sure that he's getting the dodge um, because that's going to be, like, more important. You do also miss out on the additional by not getting the six key spheres, but, you know, like, the additional is the additional. It's not, like, a make-or-break thing. It would definitely help. You know, it's some more damage, but... Um, again, I'm not, I'm not worried about, like, timing out against this Vegeta or anything like that. So there we go. That is Battlefield complete. Let me know what you guys thought about this season of Battlefield. Um, I, I thought it was not too bad. I thought we had a pretty pretty decent setup going right here. Let me know what teams you guys used. If you see anybody struggling in the comments, be sure to help them out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to catch you guys next time.